An innovation, he is starting to the top left of the map. We have the Terran player here in blue, as I spoiled that surprise. It is, of course, STXO Innovation from giving, Korea. Oops, giving him his proper introduction here. Yep, how proper of you. I know. Bottom right, across the map, we have his opponent. A 1 0 lead after the first game, but in the second one, he was not strong enough to take on Innovation. He is. Samsung Ken Roro from Korea. Bro, I'm almost certain we'll do some very heavy Roach Banley aggression on this map. It's a two player map, Rush Distance is pretty small, and Innovation has beaten him in straight games. But before we get to that point, Innovation is going to do a proxy. Yeah, he has shown this in not only the, the finals of the GSL, but we've seen his also against Symbol. He really likes to throw a cheese down every now and then. But it's also something that has been... I mean, this is known. So I want to see if we might even see a very aggressive scout here by Roro. So far, it doesn't look like it. He just uh, gets his hatch first. And the double... This double uh, barracks build is, is really strong. Yeah. Doesn't scout it. Doesn't send a drone. Second Overlord's not going to see this either. It's not only a really um, hidden place for Overlords, but it's also very far forward. So the rallied Marines, the fourth and fifth Marines, are going to be perhaps the killers here, uh, depending on how Innovation executes this. He's going to go ahead and send his SCV down to, to scout and bunker. Roro is super greedy. He does not get the spawning pool. There is no drone scout for him. He gets the gas first. He builds additional drones. Then he goes into the spawning pool. The Overlord is currently missing everything. And he he hides. might see the SCV. He sees oh, it. He barely sees it. But the, the pool has already been built. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he can do anything here. Uh, this is one of those forward bunkers that we have seen Innovation build. And this is going to be one of those things where the Zerg player has to make a choice. I probably don't think he should commit with the drones to this. No, I think he should do, maybe even try to do a one base behemoth bust or something. I mean, he's he's going to really struggle to save this hatch. I'm not sure if he can do it. Sees the late pool here. The pool timing is now known and he can drop another bunker and he will immediately... The first one will give the Marines a little bit of safety. Here comes the hatch. And it, Roro, he's in so much trouble. I, I, I can't even spoil it out. This is like, oh, I'm, I feel so sorry. And those for him fourth right and now. fifth Marines I was talking about on their way over now, and two bunkers going down as we speak. To be honest, Roro just played super, super greedy. So innovation is punishing him for it. This and is just the risk that you run. And that's exactly what the the response I was expecting from Roro, the baneling nest. It's the best thing to do when you have gas like this, and you you scout this late. There's nothing you can do. You can't make your pool finish any faster. That's not going to happen. Yeah, but he's making sure that those links are not going to do a lot. One link escapes. That's one bane link that you have. But this hatch, he cannot save this hatch. He's not even going to try. Yeah, he's not going to try to make spines oh. or anything. And the thing is, he can actually tightly wall this off if he kills the uh, the debris there. And yeah. Yeah, well, actually, I guess he doesn't even really have to. <laughs> he's just building bunker after bunker. He has so many of them. Needs to be, of course, careful how he approaches this. But he's doing a great job now. The queen is immediately Ooh. being targeted, but the links are now running in. So many marines are being dedicated to this. He's not following this up with anything behind it. Here come those bane links now, but with three bunkers already done, two additional being built, this could be, even with the root link timing miss, I don't know if that's really going to work. He's just making a massive amount of, of uh, bunkers because he already scouted the gas, so he knows this is just going to be what's happening. The only other thing it could be is like a, a lair or something, which he's going to be totally fine against. Only Leon can do one yeah. base lair. <laughs> this is amazing. Innovation is dedicating everything to this build. It also means that he doesn't have a second base behind this, of course, but he is containing the Zerg player so hard with so many bunkers, and this is exactly what he needs. He's playing this really well. He's just to make sure that those bane links are... Yep, there we go. He's using them. He's targeting them. A few of the bunkers will be gone, but he's going to hold this. The bunkers yeah. are going to hold. Look at that micro. A few Zerglings almost get by. Yeah, almost the, the keyword there. GG. GG indeed. Innovation just showing exactly why he's such a strong player. Down a game in the series. And then he takes two in a row. Rolos' he's, chance was in game number two and he threw it. He really did. I, I was actually going to say the exact same thing. And This just goes to show Innovation is a player who can play straight up games almost every single time. And then suddenly trick you, play, a, play it an all-in strategy. 
So in this case, it's not really necessarily all in. It was once you started making all the bunkers, but do a two barracks proxy, do something sneaky. You know, you did it in the finals in the game number one. He's a very unpredictable player, a hard player to prepare for. It's very smart to just throw in the occasional cheese. And if you're up against an opponent like Roro, who loves to be a, a bit greedy, then uh, this is completely fine. People sometimes look at these games and are like, oh my god, he cheesed him. He actually didn't. He punished him for being super greedy. There was no drone scout. He didn't really go for any kind of scouting pattern with the overlords. A lot of Zerg players will try to spot these barracks with the units that they have. And then he even squeezed an additional drone's gas before he went into the pool. He was punished, and rightly so. Innovation takes it advances as the first in the group to the bracket round tomorrow. And, well, we have another break, and then we are going into our losers match where we have Dimaga going up against Revival. So stay tuned, and we will be back in a few minutes. <laughs>